This is Unit 25 of Speak and Read Eastern Arabic. Listen to this telephone call in which Mr. Brown wants to delay an appointment. Hello? Min am yahki? Ana Michael Brown. Ahlan, Mr. Brown. Asif, ma bqdir ijtama' ma'ak al-yom. Ma'lish, imta bithab nijtama'? Nih bukra, al-sa'a 5. Bil-hotel? Fi mani' nijtama' bi mat'am al-kaman? La, nih ktir. Listen to the conversation once more. Hello? Min am yahki? أنا مايكل براون أهلين مستر براون آسف ما بقدر اجتمع معك اليوم معلش إمتى بتحب نجتمع؟ منيح بكرة الساعة خمسة بالأوتيل؟ في مانع نجتمع بمطعم الكمان؟ لا منيح كتير Listen to this commonly used telephone phrase ألو ألو You may have guessed its origin It came into Arabic through French and into French from English Say hello to someone on the phone Hello? Hello? Usually, it is the caller who identifies himself or herself. If identification is not done immediately, the person on the other end would ask, Who is speaking? Listen and repeat. Min am bihki? Min am bihki? All these words in this question should be familiar to you by now. Let's practice them individually. What's the word for who? Mean. Mean. The second word is a combination of a marker indicating progressive action and the verb itself. Listen and repeat. Am bihki. Am bihki. Let's build it up from the end part by part. Bihki. Am bihki. How do you say who's speaking? Min am bihki? Min am bihki? Do you remember how to say he speaks English? Bihki Englishi. Bihki Englishi. How do you say I speak Arabic? Bihki Arabi. Bihki Arabi. Now say, I speak Arabic a little. Bihki Arabi Shwai. Bihki Arabi Shwai. Ask a man or a woman, do you speak English? Bihki Englishi. Bihki Englishi. Suppose you are calling someone named Nabil. Here's how you ask for that particular person. Listen. ممكن احكي مع نبيل ممكن احكي مع نبيل The question starts with a word similar to could or may in English and is used for polite requests. What is it? ممكن ممكن We have seen the preposition with before as in with him. Listen. مع مع the final sound in this preposition is produced deep in the throat. How do you say with? Ma. Ma. Now say, may I speak with Nabil? Mumkan ihki ma Nabil? Mumkan ihki ma Nabil? Suppose you are on the phone and the person on the other end has not identified himself. How do you say, excuse me, with whom am I speaking? عفوا مع مين عم بحكي عفوا مع مين عم بحكي Let's build this sentence up starting from the end بحكي عم بحكي مع مين عم بحكي عفوا مع مين عم بحكي Suppose the person on the other end wants you to identify yourself. How do you say, I'm so-and-so, an American tourist? Anna Sally Martin, Sa'iha Amerkiye. Anna Sally Martin, Sa'iha Amerkiye. There is one new word in this sentence, the one for female tourist. Listen. Sa'iha. Sa'iha. 
If you are a woman, how do you say I'm a tourist? أنا سائحة. أنا سائحة. Now say I'm an American female tourist. أنا سائحة أمريكية. أنا سائحة أمريكية. Here's the word for male tourist. سائح. سائح. How do you say I'm an English tourist? أنا سائح إنجليزي. أنا سائح إنجليزي. If you are a woman, how do you say I'm a Canadian tourist? أنا سائحة كندية. أنا سائحة كندية. In the conversation, Michael Brown was on the phone. How did he identify himself? أنا مايكل براون. أنا مايكل براون. If you are Michael Brown, how do you identify yourself? أنا مايكل براون. أنا مايكل براون. The woman on the other end greeted him saying, Hi, Mr. Brown. How do you say that in Arabic? أهلين, Mr. Brown. أهلين, Mr. Brown. Do you remember the word for I'm sorry said by a man? آسف. آسف. How does a woman say I'm sorry? Asfi. Asfi. In the dialogue, Mr. Brown expresses his regret for not being able to meet with the lady on that day. How does he say, I'm sorry, I can't meet with you today? Asif, ma bader ishtimi'a ma'ak al-yom. Asif, ma bader ishtimi'a ma'ak al-yom. Here's the word for can. Bader. Bader. And here's the word for I meet. Ijtimir. Ijtimir. How do you say to a woman, I can meet with you? Bader ijtimir ma'ik. Bader ijtimir ma'ik. Now say, I can't meet with you. Ma bader ijtimir ma'ik. Ma bader ijtimir ma'ik. How do you say to a woman, I'm sorry, I can't meet with you today? Asif, ma bader ishtimi ma'ak al-yom. Asif, ma bader ishtimi ma'ak al-yom. Suppose you won't be able to join someone for lunch. How do you say, I can't come to lunch? Ma bader ishtimi ma'ak al-yom. ما بقدر إجي على الغداء. Listen to how to say I can't come. ما بقدر إجي. ما بقدر إجي. This phrase is made up of two verbs, the first one of which has the be prefix indicating present tense, and the second one is in its infinitive form, that is, with no be prefix. Here's how to say he can't come. ما بقدر يجي. ما بيقدر يجي. Apart from the initial B sound on the first verb, both start with a Y sound, indicating reference to a man. How do you say he can't come? ما بيقدر يجي. ما بيقدر يجي. Here's how to say she can't come. ما بتقدر تجي. ما بتقدر تجي. As you can see, neither verb changes form except for one sound denoting person. You may have guessed that it is the T sound that refers to a woman. Say again, she can't come. Ma bteqdir tiji. Ma bteqdir tiji. Here's how you ask a man, can't you come? Ma bteqdir tiji. Ma bteqdir tiji. How do you ask a woman, can't you come? 
ما بتقدري تجي؟ ما بتقدري تجي؟ Note the E ending on the verb when a woman is being addressed. Ask a woman again, can't you come? ما بتقدري تجي؟ ما بتقدري تجي؟ Here's how to say we can't come. ما بنقدر نجي. ما بنقدر نجي. The pronoun we is expressed by the initial N sound. Say again, we can't come. ما بنقدر نجي ما بنقدر نجي Here's the infinitive form of the verb we meet نجتمع نجتمع How do you say we meet نجتمع نجتمع Now say we can't meet ما بنقدر نجتمع ما بنقدر نجتمع. Say, we can't meet today. ما بنقدر نجتمع اليوم. ما بنقدر نجتمع اليوم. Do you remember the word for you like addressed to a man? بتحب. بتحب. Say to a man, would you like to meet today? بتحب نجتمع اليوم؟ بتحب نجتمع اليوم؟ Literally you're saying, you like we meet today? Ask once more, would you like to meet today? بتحب نجتمع اليوم؟ بتحب نجتمع اليوم؟ How do you say to a woman, you like? بتحبي بتحبي Ask her, would you like to meet, that is, meet together? بتحبي نجتمع؟ بتحبي نجتمع؟ Ask a woman, when would you like to meet? إمتى بتحبي نجتمع؟ إمتى بتحبي نجتمع؟ Here's a useful word which is widely used in and outside greater Syria. It means that's all right or that's fine. Listen and repeat. معلش. معلش. How do you say that's all right? معلش. معلش. Suppose you are trying to reschedule an appointment with someone. He tells you that he can't come at five. How does he say that? ما بقدر إجي الساعة خمسة. ما بقدر إجي الساعة خمسة. Say, I can't come at five. ما بقدر إجي الساعة خمسة. ما بقدر إجي الساعة خمسة. How does a man say, I'm sorry, I can't come at five? آسف, ما بقدر إجي الساعة خمسة. آسف ما بقدر إجي الساعة خمسة. How does a woman say, I'm sorry, I can't come at five? آسفة ما بقدر إجي الساعة خمسة. آسفة ما بقدر إجي الساعة خمسة. You may have noticed that it is the same sentence except that the word for sorry has the feminine a ending. Listen to sorry said by a woman. Asfi. Asfi. How does a man say sorry? Asif. Asif. Tell the man that's fine. Malish. Malish. Ask him, is six o'clock good? Sa'a sit demnih. She has used the word for good or well. Say good again. Mnih. Mnih. He asks if they could meet after six. Mumkin nishtemir baad al-sitte? 
ممكن نجتمع بعد الستة؟ Here's the word for after pronounced by itself. بعد بعد How do you say after? بعد بعد He has used the polite word for could or may. Listen to it by itself. ممكن ممكن Listen now to the whole request and repeat after him. ممكن نجتمع بعد الستة؟ ممكن نجتمع بعد الستة؟ Note that he does not use the word for o'clock. He has used just the number. But note also that the number is pronounced with an elongated initial S sound. How do you say, could we meet after six? ممكن نجتمع بعد الستة؟ ممكن نجتمع بعد الستة؟ Here's the word for before. قبل قبل How do you say before six? Remember to elongate the initial S sound in six. قبل الستة قبل الستة Now say, we may meet before six. ممكن نجتمع قبل الستة ممكن نجتمع قبل الستة The man wants to know where you would like to meet. Listen and repeat. وين بتحبي نجتمع؟ وين بتحبي نجتمع؟ Remember he's asking literally where you like we meet. How does a man ask a woman, where would you like to meet? وين بتحبي نجتمع؟ وين بتحبي نجتمع؟ The woman wants to know if it is all right with the man to meet at the Kemal restaurant. Here's how she says, Do you mind meeting at the Kemal restaurant? في مانع نجتمع بمطعم الكمال؟ في مانع نجتمع بمطعم الكمال؟ The woman is literally asking, Is there an objection we meet at the Kemal restaurant? Here's the word for objection. مانع مانع How do you say objection? مانع مانع What's the word for there is? في في How do you ask, is there an objection or do you mind? في مانع في مانع How do you say we meet? نجتمع نجتمع How do you ask, do you mind if we meet or do you mind meeting? في مانع نجتمع في مانع نجتمع What's the word for restaurant? مطعم مطعم How do you say in a restaurant or at a restaurant? Remember the prefix be for in or at. بمطعم بمطعم Now say in the Kemal restaurant. بمطعم الكمال بمطعم الكمال Listen to the whole question. في مانع نجتمع بمطعم الكمال؟ في مانع نجتمع بمطعم الكمال؟ Let's break it down and build it up again word by word, starting from the end. الكمال بمطعم الكمال نجتمع بمطعم الكمال مانع نجتمع بمطعم الكمال في مانع نجتمع بمطعم الكمال The man responds to this question by saying, No, that's very good. How does he say that? لا منيح كتير 
لا منيح كتير How do you say good? منيح منيح Now say very good منيح كتير منيح كتير How do you say, do you mind meeting at the hotel? في مانع نجتمع بالأوتيل؟ في مانع نجتمع بالأوتيل؟ Imagine that you are sitting in a cafeteria and there's a Syrian couple sitting at the next table. They know you are a foreigner, but to break the ice and start a conversation, they ask you if you are a foreigner. انت أجنبي؟ انت أجنبي؟ You answer yes in Arabic. ايوا ايوا They get interested and ask you whether you speak Arabic. بتحكي عربي؟ بتحكي عربي؟ Say, yes, I speak Arabic a little. ايوا بحكي عربي شوي. ايوا بحكي عربي شوي. They get even more interested and the lady asks you where you come from. منين انت؟ منين انت؟ You tell her that you are from America. أنا من أمريكا. أنا من أمريكا. You ask the lady if she speaks English. بتحكي إنجليزي؟ بتحكي إنجليزي؟ She says, yes, a little. أيوة شوي. أيوة شوي. At this point, she introduces her husband to you. How does she do that? هذا زوجي. هذا زوجي. Do you remember the word used for nice to meet you? شرفنا. شرفنا. You take out a family picture and point out your wife. Hey, Zuzdi. Hey, Zuzdi. Then you say, this is my son. Hada ibni. Hada ibni. How do you point out your daughter to them? Hey, binti. Hey, binti. Now you want to buy a sandwich, but you don't know the Arabic word for it. How do you ask them, what sandwich in Arabic? شو ساندويتش بالعربي؟ شو ساندويتش بالعربي؟ The lady gives you the Arabic equivalent. Sandwiche. Sandwiche. You recognize that it is an Arabized version of the English word. Say sandwich once more. Sandwiche. Sandwiche. Suppose you want to buy a bag of popcorn. Ask what popcorn is in Arabic. Shu popcorn bil Arabi. Shu popcorn bil Arabi. The woman provides the Arabic name. Here it is. Bushar. Bushar. How do you say popcorn in Arabic? Bushar. Bushar. If you smoke, you may wish to find out whether smoking is allowed. Do you remember the word for allowed? Masmuh. Masmuh. What's the word for smoking? Tadkhin. Tadkhin. Note the elongated initial T sound. How do you say smoking? التدخين. التدخين. Now say, is smoking allowed? التدخين مسموح. التدخين مسموح. You may switch the words around and still retain the same meaning. Ask once more, is smoking allowed? مسموح التدخين. 
مسموح التدخين؟ The woman may tell you, yes, it is allowed. How does she say that? ايوه مسموح ايوه مسموح Note that there are no words for it and is. She is actually saying, yes, allowed. How do you say, yes, it is allowed? ايوه مسموح ايوه مسموح Here's how she would say, no, it's not allowed. Listen and repeat. لا, مو مسموح. لا, مو مسموح. How does she say, no, it's not allowed? لا, مو مسموح. لا, مو مسموح. She may also say, no, it's prohibited. Do you remember the word for prohibited? ممنوع. ممنوع. How does the woman say no? It's prohibited. لا ممنوع. لا ممنوع. Now the couple wants to find out if you liked Damascus. The woman asks you, "Did you like Damascus?" عجبتك الشام؟ عجبتك الشام؟ She has used a different word from the one you already know. Listen again. عجبتك الشام؟ عجبتك الشام؟ This sentence literally means, did Damascus please you? Here's the verb, it pleased you, referring to a feminine thing and addressed to a man. عجبتك. عجبتك. The verb contains the uk ending used when addressing a man. This ending is also preceded by a T sound because reference is made to a feminine thing. How do you ask a man, did you like the ice cream? Or more literally, did the ice cream please you? عجبتك البوظة؟ عجبتك البوظة؟ Now ask a woman, did you like the ice cream? عجبتك البوظة؟ عجبتك البوظة؟ Have you noticed the ik ending? Ask her if she liked the sandwich. عجبتك الساندويشة؟ عجبتك الساندويشة؟ Here's how to say I liked it. Remember that you're literally saying it pleased me. عجبتني. عجبتني. The ni ending is equivalent to the English word me. Say I liked it again. عجبتني. عجبتني. How do you say, yes, I liked it a lot? Ewa, عجبتني كتير. Ewa, عجبتني كتير. Ask a man, did you like the popcorn? عجبك البوشار? عجبك البوشار? You may have noticed that there is something different. The T sound in the verb is missing. This sound is used only when reference is made to feminine nouns. And since the word for popcorn is masculine, the T sound is dropped. Ask again, did you like the popcorn? عجبك البوشار؟ عجبك البوشار؟ Say, yes, I liked it. ايوا عجبني. ايوا عجبني. Now say, I liked the popcorn. عجبني البوشار. عجبني البوشار. You bid the couple goodbye and leave the place. Here's what you say. خاطركم. خاطركم. Earlier we used another variation of this word when taking leave from a single person. Do you remember how to say goodbye to a man? خاطرك. خاطرك. And how do you say goodbye to a woman? خاطرك. خاطرك. But if you are saying goodbye to two or more persons, men or women, you should use this. خاطركم. خاطركم. 
How do you say goodbye to two or more people? خاطركم خاطركم You are now outside the cafeteria and you want to take a cab. The driver asks you, where are you going? وين رايح؟ وين رايح؟ Tell him you're going to the commercial bank. رايح على المصرف التجاري. رايح على المصرف التجاري. Say the commercial bank by itself. المصرف التجاري. المصرف التجاري. Now say to the commercial bank. على المصرف التجاري. على المصرف التجاري. How would the cab driver ask you where are you going if you are a woman? وين رايحة؟ وين رايحة؟ Tell him you are going to the commercial bank. رايحة على المصرف التجاري. رايحة على المصرف التجاري. In Damascus, this bank has many branches and they are numbered. How do you say branch 5? فرع خمسة. فرع خمسة. Say branch 10. فرع عشرة. فرع عشرة. How do you say goodbye to a group of people? خاطركم. خاطركم. They would respond this way. مع السلامة. مع السلامة. And it's time to say goodbye to you. This is the end of Unit 25.